Module 5, Getting It All Done on Time. Ultimately, it is our job to deliver things on time. Prioritizing your work, staying on track, and accurate goal setting are essential elements to you being able to deliver your project or tasks on time. This module will allow you to explore techniques that increase your effectiveness in meeting your deadlines. Prioritizing. When dealing with many tasks, prioritizing your work becomes an important step to perform. Using the RAP technique in prioritizing will help you start your day on the right foot. Avoid approaching your day unplanned or haphazardly. Once you take the time to prioritize the things that you have to complete in your day, you will have a sense of direction. Let's take a look more closely at the RAP technique. When you start your day, you should take inventory of the things you have to complete and write them on your to-do planner. You may have things on your to-do list already. That is okay, just add the other tasks on them. Once your task is in your to-do book, rank each task by importance. You may use numbers or letter, but do not exceed more than three rankings. You want to be able to keep track of the most important tasks. Making your ranking system from 1 to 20 or from A to Z will make it ineffective in determining which are all the important tasks. There are several questions you can ask yourself to help rank your tasks. Here are some examples. When is it due? For whom is it for? Is it related to a specific project? Can this be done later? Is another task dependent on this one to be finished before it can move on? Once ranked, anticipate how long each task is going to take. If you run out of time for all your tasks, move those tasks, which should be low priority, to the next day and rank them higher by one category. Once the time is set, perform each task as planned, guarding against time wasters mentioned in past modules. Your prioritized list is your guide for the day. Remember to calculate into your prioritized list the time you need to attend meetings and the time you need to make telephone calls. The secret to staying on track. Aside from managing your schedule vigorously, you should develop behaviors that help you enjoy your work. Becoming bored or frustrated could easily become distractions that will cause you to lose sight of your daily objective of being effective and efficient. Your work and home life should be separated as much as possible. Leave your home issues at home and leave your work issues at work. When you begin mixing the two worlds, you will experience fatigue and perhaps unnecessary conflict. These conflicts are major distractions that will easily take you off track, causing you to miss deadlines. Let the ride to and from work be your transitioning time. On the way to work, listen to motivational and inspirational messages to help gear you up for the day. On the way home, listen to soft or classical music. This will help you become more relaxed. Another secret is to schedule your creative work in the morning. Things like writing a proposal or presentation require creative thinking, and you are the most creative in the morning. You have your most energy and thrive in the early part of your day. Once the afternoon comes, you will probably have lost most of your zip. Save work that is repetitive or mundane for the afternoon. Tasks like running a report or filing require less energy. Trying to perform creative tasks in the afternoon could become a frustrating experience, causing you to get off track. Finally, track progress, check off things that you have accomplished, and celebrating completed tasks are helpful in boosting your morale. Many times we do not get pat on the back or recognition on a daily basis that helps motivate us to keep a high level of energy and productivity. Take the time to track and celebrate your achievements. Whenever we check off a task on our to-do list, a chemical reaction takes place in the brain that gives us a good feeling. These chemicals are called endorphins. You get them all the time when someone tells you that you did a great job or when you take a moment and look over the job you just finished. Help yourself by triggering these chemicals on your own by celebrating success because becoming distracted or bored leads to losing track. Avoid it by following these secrets. Think of it. Whenever you do something you like and it gives you a sense of accomplishment, the time goes by fast and you get a lot done. The same holds true for your work. Make it a fun thing to accomplish tasks at work. Goal setting. There are many ways to set goals. When dealing with project or task-related goals, making you accountable to others is a huge motivating factor in reaching the goal. Many times we set goals for ourselves, but rarely share them with others. There is a temptation not to meet the goal since no one is watching except you. DART's goal setting is designed to help you maintain motivation in reaching the goal. It requires you to define or determine the goal, announce the goal, adjust it, and time lock it. Defining the goal is probably the easiest step. Write down what you want to accomplish and review it. Ask yourself if it is too vague. 
If it is, then you may need to write it again to be more specific. Next, announcing or making a public statement about the goal you want to achieve puts natural pressure to achieve the goal. If you tell your manager you will have the report done by the afternoon, you will do all you can to meet that goal. If you tell your project team that you will have the task completed by a certain day, you will feel a responsibility to the team, like the runner from the marathon team I mentioned earlier. In addition, when you publicly state your goals, you are inviting feedback that may help you revise your goals to be better. For instance, you may state that you will complete a task by a certain date. However, a colleague may inform you that an issue exists that may hinder your progress. This is information that should help you revise your goal with a better time frame. Setting goals does not have to be a daunting task. It should be quick and easy with plenty of opportunity for obtaining feedback from your peers and manager. DART is designed to help you hit your target. Case study. There are certain techniques which were created for the purpose of getting things done on time. Jamie was one of the persons to use one of them as his brother dealt with this kind of problem on a daily basis. Teaching him how to prioritize and ask questions such as, when it is due, and for whom is this project, made Jamie's brother become a bit more mature and learn more about how important time is. Together with this, Jamie's brother also learned to anticipate. He used this knowledge to predict when he will get more projects and which of the weeks to come were going to be filled with more work than usual. This way, he managed to do everything on time by using a simple technique. After all, the secret to staying on track is managing your schedule together with developing a behavior which can influence the fun you have while working on a certain project.